and it is a great pleasure to see all of you here and welcome you at Excel this morning. Utah is the home of the largest high-performance and aerospace-grade carbon fiber product facility in North America. This is where we develop and produce the extreme strong and lightweight carbon fiber composite material that are used for the fuselage, wings, tails, and most flight-critical structures that are found on modern airplanes. UAVs, unmanned air vehicles and drones, rocket boosters, helicopters, the structures and rotor blades for the new all-electric, battery-powered air taxis that will soon be flying in major urban centers, including hopefully here in Salt Lake City. If it flies in the skies or flies down the Utah slopes, Excel Advanced Material are probably on board. I want to first thank Governor Cox for being with us today and for being a support not only for Excel, but also for the entire aerospace manufacturing industry in the great state of Utah. I think the secret is out that the people here in Utah are driving the hottest economy of any state in the nation. Thank you for your support and leadership. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to be here with you today. Um, Philippe, thank you for your warm welcome and hosting us. We love Hexel and, and the work that they're doing. Had an opportunity to uh, to spend time over, over the past couple of years um, at, at other facilities and uh, see the, the incredible innovation and work that is happening here. They have helped us become a center of excellence um, really across the world for advanced, uh, advanced composite materials. What we're talking about today with, uh, with Aaron and his team, an opportunity for us to reimagine what transportation can be here in our state. We can't keep widening, but we can start going vertical. And that's exactly what we're, we're going to do. The Utah legislature and I have given 47G the mandate to lead the state's advanced air mobility strategy. One of the things that makes Utah very unique is our ability to work together the public sector and the private sector. It's the only way to get this stuff done. Uh, in the public sector, we're amazing conveners. That's what we do. We, can, we know what the problems are and we can bring people together. But we absolutely need the private sector's help uh, to understand where we need to go and how to get there. The innovation that comes from the private sector to help solve our, our nation's and the world's greatest problems. And we're excited to have 47G working side by side with us to lead that effort. We know that Utah will soon become a global leader in advanced air mobility. Our state has unique assets. We have growth, we have tourism, we have business, we have beautiful national parks. These novel air mobility solutions will allow Utahns to access everything that Utah has to offer. A new generation of pilots will be needed to support this new air mobility uh, ecosystem. We have an incredible uh, opportunity to work with our institutions of higher learning in this state, and we have some of the very best. Uh, these battery electric aircraft run clean and have a very low noise profile. They will allow every Utah to access the skies in new and environmentally friendly ways. We know that Project Alta is driving a safe, collaborative, and economically viable plan for the future of advanced air mobility in Utah. I, I hope you know that this is the golden age of Utah. What you guys are doing is unparalleled anywhere in the country right now. This is the epicenter for, for, for development, for growth, uh, the, the epicenter for innovation. Uh, everything that's happening here is what the nation needs right now. And, uh, it, it's, and it's true because of institutions like 47G and the great work that they're doing. So thanks to all of you who have worked hard to make this happen. We're proud to see what will happen over the next few months and years as Utah becomes a center of excellence for advanced air mobility. Thank you.